and uh, all the digital revolution that we are seeing today are actually powered by these uh, nanoscale transistors. So uh, semiconductors are basically materials whose uh, conductivity is not as good as a metal like copper, coal, and so and not as bad as an insulator. It is something in between, right? So the examples are silicon and germanium. Now, why it matters is that uh, we can actually engineer semiconductor materials to make it work either as a metal or as an insulator based on our requirement by adding some impurity or chemicals or by applying electric field in a certain way. And this property of semiconductor is utilized in making what are known as transistors where with which we can control the flow of current and we can make it work as a switch, right? We can turn it on and turn it off based on our requirement and we can actually make logic gates out of it and using those logic gates, we can build big, bigger systems and all the digital revolution that we are seeing today are actually powered by these uh, nanoscale transistors. They are extremely tiny at the dimension of nanometers, and they are powering all our gadgets like smartphone, uh, cars, engine control, controller, refrigerator, uh, and even missiles and many other things, right? So all these uh, devices or equipments or gadgets contain chips and inside these chips there are say millions and uh, trillions of uh, transistors and without these uh, semiconductors or transistors there would have been no internet no smartphone no ai no drones and most of the things that modern we associate with wouldn't exist right 